Okay, okay, okay. I'm Dwight. Dwight. I'm Maya. Ma Maya. And this is the percent project. Yeah. Percent increase. Percent increase describes how much quantity increases in comparison to the original amount. Percent change is amount over change over original amount. For example, it would be nine dollars and fifty cents minus eight dollars would be one dollar fifty cents over eight dollars. Then divide and. 19%. Okay, number one, you do 25 times 0 0.05 is equals 1.25. Then you add 25 for 1.25, you get 26.25. Number two, you do 15 times 0.10. You get a dollar and fifty cents. You add a dollar fifty cents for fifteen dollars, and you get sixteen dollars and fifty cents. Okay, number one, you do twenty-five times point zero five is equals one point twenty-five. Then you add twenty-five for one point twenty-five, you get twenty-six point twenty-five. Number two, you do fifteen times point ten. You get a dollar and fifty cents. You add a dollar fifty cents for fifteen dollars, and you get sixteen dollars and fifty cents. Percent decrease describes how much a quantity decreases in comparison to the original amount. Percent change is amount of change over original amount. For example, eighty nine minus fifty one equals thirty eight over eighty nine. You divide it, you get forty three percent. Number one, you do 50 times 0.25, you get 250 plus 1,000, you get $12.50. Then you do 50 minus $12.50, and you get 47.50. And then, number two, you do 75 times 0 0.03, you get 2.25. You do 75 minus 2.25, you get 72.75. Percent expressions. One percent expression is a markup. A markup is one kind of percent increase. You can use the bar model to represent the retail price of an item. For example, a skateboard is $35, then $56 after a 14 percent markup. You have to draw the bar for the cost of the skateboard, then you draw a bar for the 42 percent markup. So this bar right here represents the skateboard price. This bar represents the retail price, and this bar, I mean the mark that bar represents the markup, and this bar represents the total. So then you do S plus four three two S and then um, retail price, original cost plus the markup, it all just equals one dollar and forty two wait, one point forty four hundred twenty five because S equals one and one plus point four hundred twenty five equals one. Okay, percent markup, we do it. First one is 0.27x plus x. This bar represents the price. This is the retail price, which is 0.27. And this is the total. So x plus 0.27x equals 1.27x. Number two, is 0.36x plus x. This is price, whatever. This is the retail price, 0.36x, and this is total, which is x plus 0.36x equals 
one point thirty six. Markdown is an example of percent decrease. The opposite of markup. Draw a bar for the regular price P. Draw a bar for the discount twenty percent of P. Now this bar right here is the total price, and this bar right here is the retail price point twenty P. We do x minus 0.25x evaluate x minus 0.25x equals 0.75x. You do 100% minus 75%, and you get 25%. When you turn that into a decimal, that's 0.25. And the second we do it is x minus 0.55. You got to solve x minus 0.55 equals 0.45x and I did the same thing 100% minus 55% and it gave me 0.45% when I turned it into a decimal. Percent total cost. Total cost is the price of everything added up. In this section we'll be talking about sales tax. Sales tax is the percent of the total price. For example, you shall multiply 80 with 8%. The product is sales tax. 80 times 8% is 6.40. 80 plus 6.40 is 86.40. When we do it, we'll do $20 with 3% sales tax. And the second one will be $25 with 5% sales tax. You see here, you do 20 times 3%, you get 60. And you move decimal over twice, because there's two numbers behind decimal. And then you add 20 with 0.6, you get $20.60. Number two, you do 25 times 0.05. And that equals 125, you move decimal over. Give them 1.5, and then you add it, and 26 and 25.